Today we're in a small town called Chayeli in Rize, a spectacular province on the Black Sea. And as Turks are the highest tea consumers in the world, John and I are going to show you how that perfect cup of tea ends up in your hands. And hopefully your belly. This is the epicenter of Turkish tea fields with breathtaking views you don't want to miss. So I guess it's time for some proper attire then. Attire? And since it's tea season, we've got our gear on and we're going to go help the locals go harvest some tea. And you're going to help me, right, Edo? Yeah, for sure. Let me just go find the crew and yeah. we'll do that right away. Great! Everyone loves tea. It is the world's second most consumed beverage after water. But for Turks, tea culture is a form of art. Here in Turkey, people consume more tea than they do water. In Turkey, any excuse is good enough to have a cup of tea. Feeling tired, someone is sure to offer you a cup of tea. Celebrating, have a cup of tea. Feeling sick, add some honey and lemon to your tea. It's no wonder Turks are the number one consumers of tea globally. With production, Turkey ranks sixth in the world with 260,000 tonnes a year. This is so tiring. Where is Edel? Wild chicory flower break. <laughs> All right, everyone, I have some serious business to attend. I'm headed to go network with the local entrepreneurial minds of the village. And they take networking very seriously here in Rize. And most of these meetings take place at the village coffee house. Traditionally, coffee houses are a place for men and still is in villages. Although it's rare, you could also find co-ed coffee houses. It's generally a place where men get together and socialize. But one thing's for sure, you could find the cheapest tea and coffee here. He said that he was going to help me. Hello? At all? Yeah. Where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. You said that you were going to help me. I am helping. I'm measuring the tea quality here produced in Rize. I can't do this all on my own. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you soon. Some of these trees can grow up to 55 meters high, but harvesters like to keep them at waist level to help promote new growth. Fun fact, there are six basic categories of tea. White, yellow, green, oolong, black, and post-fermented. And with herbal teas, the most popular ones in Turkey have to be the apple tea, linden, and roasted tea. Another fun fact, black tea constitutes around 75% of the world's tea consumption. It all. Now it's your turn, Errol. I got it, I got it. Now that John and the locals have done the hard work, we've loaded up the truck and we're heading to the factory to start the processing. Now let's take a look inside the factory to see how tea is made. From fresh leaves to final product, there are five major steps to the black tea process. The first step is the wilting and withering stage, where the fresh leaves are spread out and heated to 32 degrees Celsius. For the second step, the leaves head to the crimping machine, where they're crushed and compressed into smaller pieces. Step three, get the leaves oxidized. Step four, dry at 105 degrees Celsius. Yeah. 
After the waste products, like the stems, are separated from the leaves, it heads to the final step, which is grading and classification. After the tea is fully processed, it heads to the laboratory where the final quality assurance takes place. Now, I think I deserve my share. Buyurun arkadaşlar, son çayımız.